in a park off Bremen and Locust. The virus, the political atmosphere. Sits the empathy booth. I think we have to care about each other. A semi-weekly place for people to have their feelings and fears be heard. What made you want to do this? So this is uh, using the principles of nonviolent communication. It's learning how to understand ourselves and have compassion within ourselves and communicate from that place. The Empathy Booth, ran by Jules Maloney, a member of the Wisconsin Empathy Guild, is a safe space to share. I thought it was a very creative idea. So I appreciate that tremendously because I think it helps build the sense of community. I liked the word empathy. I mean, it just seemed like, yeah, I think we can all feel that kind of need. Maloney also provides a sheet of words to all of her clients that help them put a name to what they're feeling and what they need. I am seeing a lot of discord. I'm seeing disconnection. I'm seeing a lot of pain and longing. And empathy is a way to allow people to step into that space and name it and notice it and acknowledge it and then decide where do they want to go next. Helping the community during a tumultuous time to slow down, open up, and move forward. In River West, Caroline Reinwald, WISN 12 News.